Well, now we go to San Jose this afternoon, where a man is being charged with two shooting deaths, even though only one body has been found. Investigators say the two killings were part of a violent crime spree that went on for several months. Our crime reporter Henry Lee live now for us at the San Jose Police Department with details on this case. Henry. Heather, this is what's known as a no-body case. The Santa Clara DA is confident they can tie this one defendant to both killings, even though one victim's body was dug up and removed, all while the accused killer sat in jail. 34-year-old Ricardo Padilla is in jail, accused by San Jose police of a violent crime spree, including assaults, stabbings, and two shooting deaths back in 2021. Validated gang member, uh, for whatever reason, chose to live his life uh, in the encampments and creek areas of San Jose. Prosecutors have charged Padilla with two counts of murder, even though the body of one victim hasn't been found. It wouldn't be too hard to make uh, a body disappear. Hopefully we find it. In May 2021, police say Padilla shot and killed 49-year-old Thomas Calamia near West Virginia and Prevost, not far from the Virginia VTA station. Four days later, Padilla allegedly threw this Toyota Tundra in reverse, hitting Livermore motorcycle officer Keith Peeney. Alameda County prosecutors have charged Padilla with attempted murder and assault. Several weeks later, in late June 2021, San Jose police say Padilla shot and killed 43-year-old Samuel Torres, who was homeless, at an encampment near Coyote Creek and Wool Creek Drive. Police believe Padilla buried the body near his encampment. Padilla was arrested in July 2021, but not for the homicides. He actually had a firearm on him that he tried to discard. Obviously, that was recovered. He was arrested. And even though he was behind bars, police say Padilla hatched a plan to get rid of Torres' body. While he was incarcerated, uh, the suspect contacted associates outside of the jail and said, hey, this is where the body is. I need you to go get rid of it. Police searched the creek area without success. They did locate some sort of anomaly at this location where it was described. That was dug up. We did find some remnants of a burial that took place there. Authorities suspect Torres' remains were placed in plastic bags and thrown in dumpsters and storm drains. But even without Torres' body, authorities say the case can move forward based on circumstantial evidence. Now, the last time Santa Clara County DA filed a no-body case was the case of missing teenager Sierra Lamar, who disappeared back in 2012. Her killer was convicted, and to this day, her body still has not been found. Live in San Jose, Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox News. Okay, Henry, thank you.